Right, welcome back to this uh, build of a 16mm scale Hudson Hunslet logo. Um, basically just one uh, new piece that I've printed uh, for this video, which is this uh, side panel. Um, it's a very rough print. I literally just printed out a, a rectangle the same size as the the etch from the 4mm version, just scaled up uh, two holes for some handles. These are just twisted wire at the moment, so I've got something to, to work with. They're not actually, um, obviously the, the final handles, I'll have to work out exact size of wire etc needed for those but the point is there's a side panel it's in place um, and it's looking looking reasonable um, the interesting thing of course is with the side panel on um, I've also as you can see now got all the um, the remote electronics and the battery inside with quite a bit of space to spare as well um, and that's because I've actually um, adjusted uh, this top this top print as well but we'll get to that in a, in a minute but the the nice thing is that this this isn't just a, a simple rectangle there's a bit of design decision gone into here as well because obviously one of the things that I wanted to be able to do was to be able to you need to be able to replace the battery get the electronics and etc so once you've glued all this together and currently it's just held together which is why I've got my finger on the front um, you need to be able to take the side panel off so that comes off nicely um, so you can see there's the there's the there's the battery um, so What's going on design-wise? Well, if we have a look at um, this piece, as I say, it's all just kind of rested together. So if I move that out of the way, we can have a look. Um, this is the one I've just done. This is the one from the previous build. And as you can see, they look pretty much um, identical from the top. Uh, but when we flip them over, you'll see um, a, well, a couple of things. One, I've put this, this semicircular rebate in here. This obviously gives me a little extra height um, for the for the RC and battery stuff, a um, bit more space, which is why I can now stand um, the local remote module upright and have it fit. Uh, so that's nice. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, um, as you can you can possibly, well, the other thing that this rebate helps with is obviously there's less of the parts stuck to the print plate. Um, so one of the problems, if you remember, was getting this off the print plate without damaging these fairly, um, if the camera will focus, these fairly fragile corner pieces. There we go. Uh, and this one snapped off here um, wasn't wasn't great um, but with with less attached I can kind of get in under here and lever it that way uh, which is levering against the more solid the more solid corners um, so this time these have printed out um, printed out nicely um, if I can get it to focus which it's struggling with there you go there's, there's a nicely printed corner so that's good um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah so that's that the other thing you'll notice is there are two shiny little dots uh, these are tiny little magnets uh, they're two millimeters in diameter one millimeter thick um, and on the back of the door of the side panel you can see I've got a, a piece uh, an extra angled piece that fits uh, that also has two magnets in the top um, so this now clips together nicely uh, and holds it in position so you can see that's kind of perfectly located even with the parts just kind of held in in midair um, so the idea obviously once it's once it's on the loco you can grab hold of that you can grab hold of the handle and it just it just falls off um, for now what I've done is I've printed the sides as two parts so as I say there's the there's the outer actual door panel um, which as I say is currently printed um, could be um, cut from metal um, could be um, laser cut from acrylic or whatever it's a fairly straightforward shape I haven't quite worked out I'm going to do that yet uh, for mine, depending on assuming these stay flat as they continue to cure, these are only out of the printer for an hour or so. Um, then, um, then I might just keep these. Uh, we'll see. But then also, I've got this this other piece, which is kind of this kind of slightly weird angle piece. Um, that basically has two holes in, uh, which line up with the holes on the door, so that the handles pass straight through both parts. So when you pull on it, you're not just pulling on the door; you're pulling on the solid solid bar as well uh, and then two little holes on the top um, because of the way it's printed these need a slight tweak with a with a with a two millimeter drill bit when you um, before you can fit the magnets but I wanted to make the, the holes as close as possible to the size of the magnets so that they, they can't move around I want them to stay exactly where I put them so that um, position wise they match up perfectly with the other part um, and you can see that again on the other on the other piece this one um, I've put magnets on one side but not on the other uh, that's because currently I've glued these in and, and, and glued glued them into the back of the door and I don't want to if I can't get them out if these are only if these become test pieces 
um, I didn't want to waste eight magnets so I, uh, I've only done one side but as I say it, um, it works really nicely it's a nice positive um, location fit it, 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 it just fits really really nicely um, so yeah so that I think that's worked that's worked out nicely as I say we, I can I can work out how I'm doing these whether I'm you know if I'm going to do the ones with the the grill in the side uh, things like that but um, yeah that's a it's a nice update lots more fair amount of extra space inside the inside the model for for extra RC stuff um, uh, battery um, fuse etc uh, and a way to easily easily position these um, and it's quite nice that it's kind of you know prototypical to get to the motor and the engine you have to set the side panels off which is what you have to do on the real thing so that seems like a seems like a nice sensible sensible way of doing things um, so yeah so um, still some things to do I still have to work out I haven't done the seat yet and um, there's a few other bits and pieces and I also need to try and um, do a test of cutting the etch for that goes over here and do the rest of the controls and stuff um, but um, I thought this was something this was something nice and easy to tackle and, and update people on and um, I wanted to make sure I had an idea for this um, before I went much further because obviously it, it, it affects you know space inside and how um, and how these things are going to connect together but that that seems to have fixed printing of the top and and that solved that access problem all in one so yeah quite happy with that um so as i say not quite sure what the next the next bit will be um and um, and quite how i'm going to do these doors as i say it depends how well these stay flat as, as they cure at the moment they're, they're fairly soft you can you can flex them quite easily um so i want to know if as they cure a little bit further they'll probably um strengthen up uh, the resin kind of strengthens quite a lot over time which is why these thin edges on these parts aren't a problem once it's had time to to cure a little bit more um but um yeah i need to make sure that they stay flat before they're fitted because obviously um if they're not being glued into place um they're just being held on with the magnets i need them to to stay flat so that they, they actually continue to be usable uh, so we'll see how that goes um so yes yeah, so that's it for for the update today um hopefully i'll have a few more few more bits and pieces in the next next few days or week um so yeah um there we go for today